Hey guys, Cub Master Ben here. So I want to talk to my bears today. I want to talk to you guys about one of my favorite um, elective badges you guys have, and that is Critter Care, all right? So we're going to talk about pet, uh, pets and animals, family animals, maybe service animals, that kind of thing, right? And then I'll introduce you to uh, a couple of our animals and let you guys see what we do to take care of them, all right? So let's talk about the first requirement. So it, it has two situations, right? So the first requirement is either take care of a pet for two weeks and then tell about it. So write down like a list of the things you do for an animal for two weeks and everything you have to do to take care of it. Uh, food, water, taking it for walks, maybe you take it for training, uh, take it out for exercise or whatever, right? Um, and then if you don't have a pet, uh, research a animal you would want as a pet and talk about the care it needs and, and write a poster or write some research down and, and present it to your den leaders, right? So um, with this one, it can be any kind of animal, snakes, tarantulas, spiders, frogs, dogs, chickens, moose, you name it. If you can have it as a pet, go ahead and research it, guys, and learn some interesting facts along the road, right? So uh, the next one we're going to talk about is number two. Uh, number two, I, I, I put only requirement B on here um, because you only have to do A or B. And I put B because I think it's the best one to, uh, for me. Um, so I would make a PowerPoint or a poster um, about the care um, that animals can do or the help that animals can do for people, right? Um, so in my house, uh, I have a wife, uh, Miss Libby. You guys have met her. Um, she's epileptic, so that means she has seizures. Uh, we have a dog named Duke, um, our big yellow lab. And Duke is a big love bug, but he is also very in tune with Miss Libby. Um, and when she's having a bad day or she's having a headache and he thinks something might be bad about to go on, he kind of nudges her and he lets her know and he forces her to bed. Um, and he's lay, he lays down with her in bed and he, he just keeps an eye on her. Um, and, you know, he helps keep her calm and keep her grounded. Now, uh, that's one type of animal, right? So that's a service animal. So then you have um, service dogs that work with the police. Um, and then you have horses that work with all kinds of people. Um, and then you have animals at the zoo that veterinarians use and zookeepers use to teach people about animal conservation. Um, so for instance, the panda um, is only found naturally in China. And so all the zoos in the world that have a panda, they're all from China. Um, and so you cannot breed them anywhere else in the world. So that's kind of a cool fact, right? I learned at a zoo. Um, and so that's another way animals can help people is by education, all right? All right, guys, so lastly, we're going to talk about requirement three. So requirement three is visit a veterinarian or a shelter and learn about the animals they see and the care they require in those situations, right? Or maybe the kind of animals the vet cares for. And then lastly, um, on that, you can do part B, which is uh, what careers involve animals, um, what education, training, and experiences are is needed to care for those animals. So uh, when my bears now... We're lions. We got an awesome opportunity here at Fort Sill. Uh, we got to go to our canine training facility where our local police officers have some of their um, training dogs that they use for drug detection and uh, normal police work like you would see on TV, uh, you know, to help take down bad guys who don't want to stop that kind of thing. Uh, and I was blessed with the awesome opportunity to get in the, what they call the bite suit and get to see just how much power some of those animals have. Uh, and I got chased across the field in a training exercise through one of these suits under careful supervision, of course, um, with uh, by one of the police dogs. And it was an awesome experience. It taught me a lot. So um, that's, you know, one of the jobs they can have is, is working with police officers to do drug uh, search for drugs or search for bad guys. Right. Um, and then you have another one where, you know, you have search and rescue dogs, where if there's something happens like an earthquake or a building collapses and they can take dogs in there that have been trained to find those people, too. Right. There's lots of jobs, lots of dog jobs out there, um, lots of animals that provide support to humans around the world, right? Um, but we learned that it takes a lot of education, a lot of dedication, and it takes a lot of discipline or a lot of um, self-awareness and a lot of connection with the animal for you to have one of those animals in a working job, right? And it's really cool. Um, and so, you know, it's really kind of fun. So Lilith, um, if I can get her over here, give me just a second. Let me get her for you guys. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. So this is Lilith. This is my 16 week old can of Corso. Um, she weighs about 35 pounds right now. Um, she gets fed twice a day. Uh, she gets fed about a cup and a half of food and about two and a half cups of food at dinner. Um, and a cup and a half in the morning at breakfast, right? Um, she goes for walks as much as possible. She's also in obedience training on Sundays. 
Um, so she works on that stuff throughout the week. Um, we work on sit, stay, you know, heal, um, come, basic things on her leash. On her leash, she's very energetic, a very loving dog. Um, she gets a lot of care and attention, like the other dogs in our house, right? But like I said, she's only 16 weeks old, so she's got a lot of room to grow and mature. Um, but Lilith does go to obedience training, and the guy that trains, uh, teaches us the training stuff with her uh, actually trains canines. Um, he works in a dog rehab program with our local police department as well, um, taking care of dogs that need adopted and need trained. Um, and he also does service dog training and certification, so that's kind of cool. Pumpkin, come here. So here's one of our other little dogs. Um, so we told you she's 16 weeks old. Come here, pumpkin. Come here. This is the pumpkin or the nug. Nug is a toy fox rat terrier. Hi, Lilith. Um, she is 11 years old. Hey, hey, stop. And um, her and her sister love to play in rough house and get mouthy with each other. You just heard. And obviously, you're still hearing. Uh, so they love to play around, uh, have fun. Like I said, we have Duke. Duke is seven. Um, and they all get fed, guys. They get baths. They get their nails trimmed. They get played with by me and my boys and my wife. You know, we try to keep them uh, loved on and keep them trained and, and keep them going, keep them uh, keep their energy levels going right, keep them happy, keep them exercised, and have some fun with them. So this is Cub Master Ben, guys. Um, I've got Lilith that wants to play tug of war right now, so I'm going to go play with Lilith. Uh, let me know about your pets, guys, and we'll talk to you later. Cub Master Ben, out.